Heat rolled through the first two rounds of the playoffs, but they ran into the typical Indiana Pacers juggernaut that the Indiana Pacers only seemed to be against the Heat in the postseason. It was a 107-96 loss here at Indiana's Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Greg Cody, what Joe did Griffin. you think about this sobering, sobering defeat for the Heat? You know what? If I'm a Heat fan, I'm not real discouraged by it uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, everything that could go wrong went wrong. They they went to the free throw line 22 times less or 22 times less than Indiana. They they shot terribly from three point range. Their defense was lousy. Chris Bosh was invisible. So many things went wrong. And yet they were within single digits early in the fourth quarter. It's really amazing that they weren't blown out in this game. And the other reason I wouldn't be too discouraged is that this is the Heat's DNA is to come back from this kind of a defeat. They're 7-0 and uh, in the playoffs in the Big Three era when they've lost by 11 or more points, 7-0 and in the next game. And they're 4-0 uh, in, in game two after they've lost the opener of a series. So it, it's no time to panic for the, for the Heat. In the first quarter, Indiana was 5 of 6 from three-point range. That really set the tone. The Pacers scored 30 points in the, in the first quarter, 55 points in the first half. That was the most points they've scored in the first quarter and the first half in the playoffs. You know, after the game, the players really said that defensively it couldn't have been any worse. Uh, you know, what did you see defensively, Greg? Well, yeah, it was the most points Indiana scored all postseason and the most points Miami's given up. Uh, I, I think the, the pick and roll defense was what wasn't working. And, and LeBron mentioned that, um, that that they seemed a little bit surprised by some of the things uh, and, and didn't have the right mentality uh, against that and that that's where the main adjustment would come in. Indiana got to the free throw line 37 times. It was a huge factor in this game. Uh, Miami committed 26 fouls. They're going to have to clean a lot of that up here in Game 2. Uh, afterwards, the Heat was very confident they were going to make adjustments for Game 2. They really didn't seem worried about, worried about it. A few players were even even wondering uh, about Game of Thrones Episode 7 on uh, Sunday night. So, you know, the sense in the locker room wasn't – well, there wasn't a sense of panic. Uh, so, uh, you know, Game 2 is going to be here at 8.30 on Tuesday. And – the Heat is, is confident that it will come back and, and respond after this loss. For Greg Cody from Banker, Banker's Life Fieldhouse, I'm Joe Goodman of the Miami Herald.